Hi traders, just looking at this market, just looking at financial markets at the moment, uh, very, very close to a risk off market. The Dow is coming down and a matter of fact, if it breaks this trend line here, which is around uh, 23, 3, 23, 3, sorry, what have we got? 23, 3, 10. Uh, it doesn't look too good and if it breaks again this line of support here 22.924 or the 200 day moving average it could actually fill the space down here which is quite a lot actually so it'd be another 2,000 points lower okay so it looks like the market's starting to go into risk off let's just quickly have a look at the the US yen being given a buy on US yen which is unusual normally when you have a risk off market people go to yen but what they're doing is they're buying US at the moment uh, as opposed to yen, which is interesting. I'm also short um, Aussie US at the moment. My trading model's got me short on the Aussie US as well from higher levels uh, around that 64 level. So I'm currently short on that. Um, also, VIX is starting to rise, a volatility measure. Uh, to come off around from 82, has come down a bit, but now it's starting to rise at 41, 42, something like that. So that's a risk off measure as well. Another thing just looking at now is interest rates. Euro interest rates are actually going up, but keep in mind uh, Italian interest rates are actually are going up in yield, um, down in price, and Euro interest rates going down in interest rates up in price. Let's have a quick squeeze of gold. Gold, I'm quite bullish on. Gold again is way above the 200 day moving average. It's above 1700 US. Looks like it's going to break higher to me, parabolic to, to at least 2000. Let's have another look at this. Um, next, what I'm looking at here is uh, the yen, the yen indice uh, has gone red. I do have a buy on it though, that's interesting. If I look at the DAX, I've just been given a sell on the DAX as well and uh, so look it looks like risk off to me another thing that interests me is credit spread starting to blow okay so if that's the case um, it is risk off for sure let's just have a quick squeeze here just something else I want to bring to your attention as well um, just this one here danger fed buying junk bonds federal reserves making the most dangerous move since it was founded over a century ago in buying junk bonds uh, bailing out cities states money market funds and more uh, and what's interesting about it, are they going, going about the whole world uh, to the degree that they fail? How many companies will go bankrupt? Um, thing is, bonds are starting to move out. Credit spreads are starting to move out as well, which doesn't look great. A uh, lot of data coming out too, so keep in mind that. And what have we got? Economic calendar. Tomorrow, Aussie 16th, we've got consumer inflation expectations, uh, inflation, employment, unemployment. Uh, inflation rates in Germany, France, what else we got? Uh, Spain bond auctions, keep an eye on those. Uh, US jobless, jobless claims, it's not going to be a pretty pre picture. Uh, initial jobless claims, uh, they're expecting some big figures here, which will also take the market down. So it is a risk off market. I'd be, I'd be actually short the Dow actually, to be honest. Um, and short Aussie US long gold what else um certainly short the italian bond rate if we go to bonds look very specifically at the bond rate in italy let's just quickly go to bonds sorry i don't want this to take too long let's let's have a look at that so we've got the bond rate basically we've got um us bonds going down 0.65 is a 10 year japan slightly going up uh, Italy is up 10 basis points, 189, 1.89, 10 basis points a lot in a bond uh, going up at 1.89, 10 basis points. Greece is up 0.19, Spain is up 0.05, okay, all the really weak economies. Mexico is up 0.01, New Zealand is up 0.04, okay, so these economies here, Spain, Greece, France, Italy, even Italy uh, are fairly weak. Uh, and it looks like anything emerging market debt type thing is also underperforming as well. So be careful. Um, certainly a risk off market. Even the five years up 15 points to the Italian. Wow, that's a lot. 17. Okay, rushes up as well. Okay, so 
definitely I'm a seller, uh, a seller of risk markets, which means equity markets, the DAX, that sort of thing. Let's quickly have a look at Bitcoin while we're at it as well. This one's a bit slow here. Oil, $26 again, and crude. Interesting, Brent is at 26 and WTI is at 20. That's very interesting. So on the 200 day moving average on the daily, I've been given a sell on that as well on Bitcoin. Let's go to four hours on that. So my model is also telling me to sell Bitcoin as well. So certainly on uh, the daily, it's under the 200 day moving average and I've been given a sell as well. So basically uh, sell risk markets and go into defensive assets, uh, which is uh, yields, gold, silver, pretty much. Uh, and cash. Alright, thanks guys. Look after yourself, traders.